hi guys how's everybody doing today i hope that everybody's doing great welcome back to my channel i have something a little different for you guys today i have a haul but this is a five below haul so if you guys don't know about five below it's a store that sells things um five dollars and under but um as recently they started selling um items that are i believe ten dollars and under um not every five below um, has already those more expensive items um, around me I have visited three five below's and only one of them had the ten dollars um, and under um, items the other two still only had the five dollar and under so um, slowly but surely all the five below's are expanding um, their range but nonetheless their items that they sell are still very cheap very inexpensive and they are good stuff so I wanted to come today and share some of the things that I found that I genuinely needed like I didn't go to five below to just grab things for um, this haul but I actually found things that I genuinely needed and could use um, and so I have this stuff right here next to me and I'm going to share them with you um, so the first thing that I found and I was so excited about this is this little shelf and it's so cute you might have seen bigger versions of this shelf um, like in the background of some youtubers um, and now they have them on five below they are a little bit smaller but they're still super cute and super handy um, and this one is actually for my daughter's room and I bought two of these and she's going to be using them in her room to put like little things here and there um, she is in the process of like redecorating her room so I've been getting her things here and there we paint to her room and so now we are trying to find things to decorate them and she wants like stuff all over her walls um she wants like posters and things to typical teenage girl um so we found these little shelves so i got her two and we are going to be putting them kind of side by side the one underneath the other and um i think that that's going to look really cute um next up i also found a set of uh, different shelves now these are individually sold but I bought two of them I will insert a picture here because I don't um have them with me because I already put them up I actually put those in the downstairs bathroom um so this is what the shelves look like they are good quality shelves and they are super cute now they are small but they're super cute and I think like for the bathrooms or for like uh, a cute little plant or something here and there I think that they're perfect um okay and then i found they sell a lot of like um sporting goods type of thing they sell a lot of like um fitness type of stuff too um so i picked up these um what are these called badminton set <laughs> so it comes with two rackets and two um, birdies and so I wanted to pick those up to kind of do something fun with my daughter um I oftentimes have a hard time getting her up to do things like um she just wants to like watch tv or be in her phone so I'm trying to come up with activities that me and her can do that requires her to move and get up you know and stretch out and stuff so I thought that this might be something fun that we could do together um she had mentioned to me in the past that she wanted um to get some like tennis rackets and stuff so and um five below does they do have tennis rackets um but the five below that i went to they didn't have it they had this one so i picked this up and then when i went to the other five below and i saw the tennis rackets i was like oh man but i might still go back and get the tennis rackets because we do have a tennis court in the area that we live um so i might go back and pick those up i touched them i felt them they felt really good quality but for this one i thought that this one would be something fun that you know we can either take to the tennis court here or we can just play outside i do like over here in the back of my house i do have like a pretty um a wide um area of like grass and stuff so um we can play out there too so i thought that would be fun for us to do i also picked up um this 
cute little table. I put it outside on my patio. I recently redecorated my patio and I had these two chairs um, and I just needed something in the middle of it and I thought that this table was perfect for that and it's okay. It's not the best table ever. We did have to put a plant on the bottom to kind of hold it steady um, because it's like a two-piece table. So it's not like one of those tables that you fold open. It's a two-piece table. So it comes with the legs that you kind of have to spread out and then you put the top on top of the legs and um it was kind of wobbly and kind of moving around a little bit so we put a plant underneath and that did it um and it looks really good it's a nice height um so overall i'm happy with it i just wish that it was more like a fold table than just like the two pieces um let's see i also um I also recently, oh, and prices, um, I'm going to put them on the screen, I believe. Yeah, I think that'll be the easiest way. I'll just put it up in the screen. Um, also, I recently um, changed our phones. So my daughter's phone, she had an iPhone. It was like an older iPhone. I can't remember which um, style, but it was like the older ones, the little square ones. Um, she had one of those and it broke into like a million pieces. And, you know, she's a teenager. She's 13. Um, when you're that age, I don't think that you really like, I don't think that you really take in consideration like how hard you know your parents have to work to get stuff so um i decided that i was not going to get her a new phone that i was just going to pass down my phone to her and i would get a new phone so i decided to get the iphone 11 and i gave her my iphone 7 um and so i got the what do you call it the um the screen protector so this is a tempered glass screen protector so i got one for her and one for myself i already have the one on my phone and it fits perfect like it's really good it's good quality um and then hers we're waiting for her um phone cover to come in to you know set everything up and then i also got a temporary phone case for my phone um i will put a picture in here um I normally prefer to have um, the phone cases that come with like three different pieces. So it comes with the two hard pieces and then it comes with like the soft piece on the outside. I feel like for me, my phone is protected a lot better with that. Um, that's what I had on my iPhone 7 and I can't tell you how many times I dropped that phone and nothing ever happened to it, like not even a little scratch. So those are the type of phone covers that I prefer, but I can only order them on eBay. So I decided to just get a temporary phone cover for my phone, for the phone 11, or the iPhone 11, because it is a more delicate phone. So this one is made of like glass in the front and the back. I still wear the other one, it was just the front. Um, but yeah, so I just got this temporary phone case for that until my new one comes in. And then I got like a bunch of fun t-shirts. If you don't know, like Five Below has such good t-shirts and i live in t-shirts i love to just lounge around the house in t-shirts or like if i have to go buy groceries or run errands i love to be in oversized t-shirts i don't like tight t-shirts i don't like the women t-shirts or like short sleeve and like tight around the body no i'm like a baggy t-shirt type of girl so all of the t-shirts that i got i got them in an extra large so they can be all nice and baggy so this is the first shirt that i got and i thought that it was appropriate for what's going on in the world at the moment um so it's called be a nice human and it has like um like colorful stripes in the bottom and i just think that this is so cute it's comfortable and yeah this is the type of stuff that i love to lounge around the house in and I got a bunch of different ones. I also got this white one. And this one is so cute. It's my favorite. This one says, um, allergic to humans. And it has a picture of a cat. And um, if you guys don't know already, I am a total cat person. I have two cats. I have my cat Luna and my cat Olivia. And I can't live without them. Olivia is my emotionally supported animal. Um, I got Olivia after my son passed away, so she, 
she's so important to me she is like she's everything to me so um I love cats I love anything cats and of course I had to get this one especially because it's so cute and funny allergic to humans yes I prefer to be around my cats most of the time um I also let's see I also picked up oh I also picked up this one I couldn't believe that I found this at five below so this is a Harley Quinn t-shirt and it's just so cute so precious so I got oh no I think I gave my daughter the wrong one okay so I got an extra large for myself and a large for my daughter um because we both are obsessed with Harley Quinn I cannot wait for Halloween because I have a surprise for you guys I do but it has to do with Harley Quinn and I'm so excited um yes I am that girl that plans her costumes a year ahead I just love Halloween okay and then I got a couple other ones as well so um if you guys don't know I do live in Florida so going to the theme parks is a big part of what we do around here so I found a shirt that I can wear to go to Disney and this one is um, the Evil Queen and I love all the villains like they are some of my favorite characters from Disney and they have I believe like four different villains but I could only find the Evil Queen so I got that one and I also got this pink shirt and this one is called or this one says um you can have it all which is true you can you can have it all if you want to um and it's just thought it was cute it's like a light pink um just to launch around the house and i believe this is the last like clothing item that i got and it's just so cute i am obsessed with leopard and animal print and you know i just i love it so i found this cute little sweater that i can wear to the gym and stuff it's like a crop top but it's not that short um and it's just so cute and it's thin so you know even though it's like a million degrees outside um it's thin enough that it won't really cost um you know much sweating um and yeah so that is what i got as far as some um, clothing goes and then let me just set my little bag up here um i got this little phone holder and this is the foldable phone stand this is what it looks like and i got this one because sometimes when i'm in the kitchen i want to share like some of my recipes and stuff with you guys but it's really hard to place my phone somewhere to record the video. So I'm going to try that and see how that works and see if it will help me. Um, and then I also got these little um, makeup eraser cloths. And I don't, I might use them for like when I wash my face and stuff. But I, I was thinking that I could just like have them here. Right now I have like this um old washcloth here next to me so when i do like swatches or when i touch um makeup or something i can just wipe my hands on it um so that's the reason why i got this little two pack here it's for that purpose so that i can just have it next to my desk so when i'm like you know filming makeup videos or when i'm doing my makeup and i need to wipe something away i can just use that um I also picked up a couple of these um, little hair clips. So I got these that are a little bit larger and these are a little bit smaller. I got these, I normally don't really put like hair clips in my hair, not these small at least because I have a lot of hair and it just won't hold. But I like to use these for when like I'm straightening my hair. Um, I use these medium sized ones to kind of hold my hair as I'm like straightening it. And then um, these little ones I do use sometimes, like if I just want to pin the side of my hair or something, I do use these smaller ones for that. And um, these were really good, like the price was really good and they feel really good, so I want to try them out. I also got two of these little um, room aroma diffusers. So this is what it looks like. I got one 
it looks just like this with the pink and then the colors right there and then i got one that's like blue and then the colors right there as well one for my daughter and one for myself i have mine over here in the table and um it has like a little opening on the top that you can put like the oil and as it turns on um you can smell it now i have to say that they are not that great um i can't really smell that oil that much but it does have this little light thing here and it changes into like different um, color lighting. So I thought that that was neat. So even though the oil might not work that well, um, the fact that it changes color and stuff is like a nice um, night light sort of thing. I also got, if you guys can see that pillow right there, that purple pillow, I got that pillow also at Five Below. It's really good quality. I was so surprised by it. Um, it's really thick and it's a heavy pillow. It's a really good pillow and it's $5, but I actually got it for $2.50. Um, it must have been in sale or something because when I looked at my receipt, it said $2.50, so... Um, it's really really nice pillow. I loved it for like my room right there, but you can also use it like, you know, your living room and your sofa, um, in your room and your kids room. Like <laughs> it's a really nice pillow and they have a rug that matches it. I wanted to get the rug, but I decided not to because my mom, she said she was going to make a rug for me. So I decided not to get that one, but they do have a rug that match that pillow. Um, I also got a little oil for the oil diffuser that doesn't really work. Um, and this is uh, rose scented. They have a lot of oils um, that have to do with like um, herbs and stuff. I'm not a big herb person. I prefer um, fruity scents or um, I like rose sometimes depending on how it is because some some sometimes like rose scented things don't smell that great um this one doesn't smell that bad um but i'm i'm not into like the herbs and stuff um i prefer fruity scents i also picked up a couple of books five below does have like a lot of like children books and stuff but every once in a while you might be able to find like cooking books and self-help books and journals and things like that and i found two books that caught my eye so the first one is this anatomy of fitness and it's personal training and workout diary and this one was 325 um i've been wanting to get something like this to kind of track what i eat um if you guys haven't watched my previous videos i am on a health journey that i started a couple years ago and my health journey is not about um losing 100 pounds in six months that's not what my health journey is about i know my person i know my body and that's just not how i am um so i've been taking my time um changing the way that i eat and the things that i eat and focusing more of on focusing more on the health aspect of losing weight instead of the um the looks of, of why you might want to lose weight if that makes sense um for me it's more about being healthy than how I look um, and also feeling healthy because when I feel healthy I feel like I can do anything and I love the feeling that I get when I feel healthy if that, mean, if that makes sense like when I eat clean when I work out when I move I feel so good I feel energized and I feel healthy and you know I just, it's just feels good so um i've been wanting to get one of these i have like a um like a planner that i used to write down everything that i ate um on a day but sometimes the days like especially saturdays and sundays they're like very tiny spaces and i can't really get everything that i eat in one day in those spaces so i've been kind of um wanting to get something like this to kind of you know write down everything that I eat kind of write down like my measurements and my weight and all that so I thought that this um was perfect for that now this book it's a little bit more complicated and more complex than what I actually originally wanted so I did end up ordering one off of eBay 
not eBay, I'm sorry, off of Amazon. And that one is a little bit more easy to use. But anyways, I am going to keep this one. And maybe once I'm done with the Amazon one, I can jump into this one. Just because this one is a little bit more complex. Um, but yeah, it, it looks good. <clears throat> and then the last book that I found was this um, a quick Izzy Healthy Recipes. Um, so I went through it while I was at the store and the recipes looked really simple and really yummy. And so um, I'm always looking for new ideas that I can cook for my daughter and for myself. Um, it's kind of hard to get my daughter to eat healthy. She is a teenager, so... <sighs> This is the time when she just wants to eat junk food and, you know, yeah, just be a teenager. So I have a hard time, like, getting her to eat healthy things with me. Um, so I thought that this would be nice to, like, make healthy meals without them looking like healthy meals, if you know what I mean. So that I can get her to um, um, eat some vegetables as well. So it looks really good. I really enjoyed it. It looks simple, easy, quick. That's just like just what it says. So I'm excited to start making some stuff from that book. And then the last thing that I ended up getting at Five Below <laughs> and not so healthy is this. Um, it's called Meiji Chocolate Rooms, and there are these like um, if you've ever had those little Japanese sticks that comes with like the chocolate to dip them in. This is basically what that is, but it's already dipped for you, and they're in the shape of mushrooms, and this is so good. Not the healthiest thing to eat, but this is so good. Like, this is really good. If you want to cheat, or if you love sweets or whatever, try these because they are so good. Like, just talking about them makes my mouth water. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is everything that I found to add five below. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Just a little something different. I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, um, but five below is a really good store that you can find a lot of really good stuff. And like I said, everything is five and below. Um, they are starting to bring items that are like ten dollars and below but that's still very cheap and some of the stuff that you find it's like really good that you will find at other stores for like 30 40 bucks so yeah if you have a five below around you i would suggest you check it out because they do have good stuff um maybe one of these days i can just go into the store and kind of show you guys what they have um because i've been trying to like not buy things that i don't need <laughs> kind of to like you know save money and um also not just have stuff laying around the house that i'm not gonna use um but yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel um and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye